Evaluate that at the home node, you find that the constant is one half. You can do a similar thing for the shape functions that have home nodes at the vertices. For instance, N7, which would have the home node here. That would involve the product of the lines passing through this diagonal uh, line here, given as this equation, plus the um, right-handed equation here, plus the bottom equation. And that product leads to this form, where the constant has been evaluated at one half also. So you can see how this could go for any of the other nodes. Problem three deals with a parabolic line element. Here we're talking about a special situation where we have a physical element on the left which has three unevenly spaced nodes. Of course, that will be mapped onto the double unit line in the C coordinate axis, and the center node will lie precisely at the origin here. So there is some unusual stretching involved in the interior of the element in this mapping. The first question, that is part A, says to find the mapping that does this job. And then part B says, what is the physical coordinate, uh, x1, that corresponds to the Gauss point, c1, on the right side here. Now for that, we'll have to look up the classical Gauss point on a two-point integration. The first part of our solution is primarily a problem of finding the shape functions that will help us do the mapping. We know the general form of the mapping is like this, and this is the uh, interpolation of the x-coordinate, which is the independent coordinate. Now, the quadratic shape functions can be found as sketched here in the figure at the right, and they're given here in equation form with their constants determined. They're color-coded so you can identify which is which. Those shape functions then will directly give us our mapping. We just enter those in the proper location here. To complete it, we really should put in the numerical values for the positions of the nodes in the x-coordinates. This would be unity. This one here would be 2.4. And this one here would be 3. Uh, so that finishes our mapping. Then in part B, we're asked to evaluate um, a point that originally was called C1 here, the first Gauss point um, in the um, C domain, and find out how that can map over into the physical domain. To get that, we look up the tabular value, which for the first Gauss point is 0.5773, and we put that into every spot that's needed in this equation. When you evaluate that, you get 2.844, and that's located at this point here in the physical domain. So that completes our problem on the uh, parabolic line element. Let's